Hello you guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Drew if you're new here and let's get right into today's video. Ooh, that sugar sweet. You got what I need. Sipping on the potion. I am doing a quick little restock for the dogs at Pet Supplies Plus. There's also a Dollar Tree and a Ross right there. So I thought, why not make it into a little shopping vlog? Because um, I wasn't going to vlog today, but I was like, this is like fun stuff. So I might as well show you guys. So we try to um, restock the dogs every once a month or every few weeks. Now that we have three dogs, it's a lot harder to keep stuff in stock. Because they eat, they drink, they play, they chew. And, you know, dog stuff is expensive. But... It's the thing with having a dog you gotta buy. So we need to get them some more food topper and then we also need to get them some vitamins and then um, I wanted to get them some new treats. And then um, we're not finished decorating for Christmas yet and I wanted to slowly buy stuff as we go on. And so I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in a really, really long time. So I thought, why not go to the Dollar Tree and see what they have? There's also a Ross right here, which I don't think I've ever been to this Ross. I've lived here a while and I don't think I've ever been to this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that Ross out. We're gonna go to the pet store first and then we'll go down the little strip. So come along with me to go shopping. been to a Ross in a really 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 long time and the last time I went I was like not impressed because I think it was like pre-COVID and I wasn't really impressed I haven't been back soon been back since and honestly I was really impressed I got a lot of stuff for under a hundred dollars and I'm really happy with what I got and I could have picked up a lot more but it was just a bunch of like knickknack stuff that I don't really need um so now I'm go I'm really thirsty, so I'm gonna see how busy the line at Chick Fil A is right here, and get oh oh my gosh, my windshield wiper in the back is going off. She's a hot mess. She's a hot 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 mess. Oh. How to turn that off? Oh my gosh, she keeps getting. Okay, y'all, this is real life. Okay, I need to get a car tripod where I can vlog and drive at the same time because this ain't working for me. And there's no Starbucks or Dutch Bros where I'm at right now. Those are like the opposite ways, both ways. So I'm gonna get a large sweet tea. Should I get a, I should probably get an unsweet tea. Yeah, I probably should get unsweet tea. Oh, the line's not long at all. I'm gonna get some tea. I'm gonna get a gallon of tea plus a cup of tea. Because in that way I can have tea to not with dinner with Gabe. Do y'all like sweet tea or is that just Texas? I don't know. Especially like, ooh, I love Raising Cane sweet tea. My favorite sweet tea definitely has to be um, Chicken Express's tea. But let me go ahead and order this real quick. Actually, I'm going to put the camera right here so you guys can hear me. I'm going to see if I have any free stuff. If you're not using your Chick-fil-A rewards or your McDonald's rewards or like things like that, then you're insane because I literally get so much free stuff all the second time. Can y'all see me? I don't want to show the person because I'm not the person to get mad. Put the camera right here. Look, I just got a free Chick-fil-A sandwich. See what I have for free. I'm gonna save that sandwich. Oh, this is not a cute angle. I'm gonna save that sandwich for Gabe. Can I get an envelope? Um, Lee, please. 
Right, can, I can I get a large sweet tea, please? Large sweet tea, okay. And then can I get a gallon of sweet tea as well? A gallon of sweet tea, okay. Uh -huh. And then that's all. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's going to be nice. Let me Can I do apple pay? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Okay, have a great day. While I was waiting in the line, I bought a tripod, and then my friend was actually working at Chick-fil-A, and she gave me my drink. She's so cute. I love her so much. I actually just met her literally the other day, and she's like my bestie now. Um, her name, I'm not going to say her name, because I don't know if she wants her name to be said on the internet. Anyways, I'm going to try my tea real quick. I'm just trying to get around these curves before my camera falls on my face. This probably is going to be a really short vlog, and then I'll be able to... Um, when I get home, I'll do a haul for you guys, and then I'll upload it for y'all because I know y'all be wanting to know what I got because what I got was some good, okay? I got some real good stuff. I'm really proud of myself for this haul. I didn't get overboard stuff. Oh, don't fall, camera. Don't fall. But I did get some really cute stuff, and I'm really proud of it. Y'all. There's just something about it. Oh, that police officer's about to pull him over. I know people, oh my freshers are in the way. I know sometimes people deserve to get pulled over if they're not following the rules, but I always feel bad like when someone's getting pulled over. I'm just like, sister, sister, we know the speed limit. And sister, I'm not gonna vlog no more because of what's that fall off the camera. Okay, y'all, I just got home and the lighting is not the best, but I don't feel like going all the way upstairs to get a ring light. So we're gonna work with what we got right now. Okay, what is this? Yeah, that's the back. Okay, I thought that was like my, um, I have my uh, camera on my little podium thing. And I didn't know if you could see the uh, soap dispensers because the last time I was doing a video in here, the camera focused on the soap dispenser and it was like focused on the soap, whatever. Anyways, to the point. So, I went to uh, the dog store, T, not TJ Maxx, Ross and the dollar store. And so, let's go ahead and do the dog store first because um, there's some frozen stuff in here and I don't want it to go bad. So, I spent a whopping $164 at the dog store. Yes, that is expensive, but I did get a lot of stuff. So, the first thing I got was three bags of this topping. It is a mixture of chicken, cod, flaxseed, salmon, oil, chia seeds, and cranberries. The dogs love these, and there is 36 servings in these bags, and usually this flavor sells out the fastest. So, I got three bags, because the last time I went in every time, they only had two, I mean one bag, and so I wanted to stock up on that. Um, I saw these in the hallway part of it. I've never gotten these for the dogs before, and so I wanted to give them a try. It's a Bully Plus Collagen Stick. It's a five inch stick, and it's like a rawhide alternative. This one is just the regular flavor, and then this one is the Peanut Butter Plus Collagen. And then I also got them three big ones. It's the Bully Plus Collagen as well, so like the more thicker one. I got those for them to try. Also got them a pack of Bully Bones. My dogs are obsessed with Bully Bones. Like, out of all the treats that they could ever get in the world, Bully Bones are their favorite. When your dog eats salmon oil, um, their breath will stink, so I do get these for them now. These are the, Ma the Marix Fresh Kisses one. These are my dog's favorites. I think they smell the best besides the greenies. And then this stuff I wanna talk to you guys about. So this is Dr. Marty, and I saw this on Facebook and so did Gabe. So basically he created a powder that helps your dog live a long time. You guys can do your own research on it, but basically he had a golden retriever. His golden retriever ate this and literally lived for 23 years. And so I saw this and I started crying and I was like, you know what? My dogs are gonna live forever. So I had to buy it for them. And maybe it's gimmicky, maybe it's not real. Maybe you can tell me down below what you guys think. Um, but I think I did my own research and I think I wanna give it to my dog so I'm gonna put it on my dog's food. Um, at Ross, I did get most of the things for the dogs. So we like to have their toys as a theme. So we got them this three pack of toys. Moosey, obviously, Bruiser, and then for Kirby, but they're gonna share anyways. Um, we got them, or I got them this really big bone. They like to play tug of war, and so a lot of their toys are too small to do that with, so I got them a long bone for them to be able to do that. They only had Moose's size in sweaters, so I got Moose this Christmas um, Santa sweater to go with his other one that we got them the other day. Um, here, Kirby, you want this baby? I got them this little Rudolph toy. Girl. And then I got this cute little ornament. This was 
$4.99. It's like one of those ones that like hangs on the side and it's like a little um, reindeer guy. I'm trying to hurry up because my camera is about to die. This I thought was a really good deal. It was $24 and it's at the bottle brush trees, but it's on a little wooden thing. So I thought I could put this on the mantle or I could put this somewhere maybe in the middle of our kitchen table. I thought it was really cute and a really good deal. Um, I saw this at the checkout. It is a 24 cups of coffee, North Pole Cafe, 24 cups of Cure Guava, most single style brew. So I thought for 21, for the 25 days of Christmas, we could do this together. Even though there's 24, we'll just to start on um, December the 1st. And then I guess on Christmas Day, Christmas Day, I won't have a coffee, but Christmas Eve, we'll have a coffee. But I thought this would be really fun to add into our vlogmas. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, I also got my sister this advent calendar. It's a Lindor Truffles one. She really likes Lindor Truffle chocolate. That's like her legit favorite chocolate ever. And um, that was only $6.99. And I was like, I can't pass that up. And I love to give my sister stuff because I love my sisters so much. Um, this was really cute. I liked the naturalness of it. This was... $14.99, it was just a little tree. I noticed that a lot of things at Ross were $14.99. Like, I don't know, like, I noticed that TJ Maxx, like, each place will have their own, like, set number, of, like, cost of stuff. But I feel like Ross's was $14.99 today. Like, I don't know what you guys, if you guys see what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Um, they had a lot of this vintage Christmas stuff. So, like, I'm trying to open this as fast as I can, y'all. Um, so, like, they had a lot of this type of Santa stuff. So, they had a lot of Santas that looked like this. And then they also had a lot that looks like this little snowman. And it, to me, it was very vintage-y. That little container was $14.99. And then I also got this one. Let me show it to y'all before I run out of time. They had a lot of the little snowman like this. And to me, that is very vintage and expensive looking. And I was like, for $14.99, I couldn't pass it up. They had a lot more stuff, but I'm a big knickknack person. If you can't tell, I love buying knickknacks. And then I will literally fill my house with too many knickknacks. And then it will look funky because too many knickknacks is just a bunch of clutter. That makes sense. So I got these because I knew I could do like a hot chocolate bar. I could do it with my coffee bar. Um, and it wouldn't be so like knickknacky, if that makes sense. And then at the Dollar Tree, I picked up a lot of stuff. Um, and it was a really good deal. So these bottle brush trees were a dollar twenty-five. Um, at Walmart, they're three dollars and ninety-five cents. So I got a gold one, a white one, another gold one, and then a green one. And then these ornaments I thought were very different and could be cute fillers for our tree. They're just gold and cream and have a little bow on there with the pine cone and the cranberries. I just thought these were really cute, and for $1.25, I mean, it could be a really good filler. So I only got five, I only got four of them, just in case, um, because we're not done decorating the tree yet. I still want to add a bunch of stuff to our tree because I feel like it's very bare for my personal liking. I am going to the Nutpacker Market tomorrow, which I'm really excited about, um, and I'm going to get a bunch of stuff for the tree because they have a round top there, which round top is basically like... I don't know how to explain it, but it's like the best thing ever, and I'm vlogging for that as well, so you guys stay tuned. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank y'all for coming to my little vlog for today. Um, sorry if it was hectic, but um, this is my life, so hope you have a great day. I love y'all. I'll see you later. Bye, friends.